To get started with Hashcat, we need to know what options should we use in our command for which type of password hashes that we're going to be cracking. The best way to see a comprehensive list of all the options that you may need to use is to go to the wiki here from the main Hashcat website and then click on this Hashcat link which will take you to a page that lists uh, all the possible options that you may uh, use. So as you know, to run Hashcat, you simply type Hashcat and then give it the options where you tell it what's the type of the hash that you're cracking, what attack mode are you running in, and then you either give it the hash itself or a file that includes that hash. And then you pass on the file that includes the dictionary that you're going to use in the cracking process. Let's start by looking at some of the options here. The two main options that you need in order to crack a password are the dash M option and the dash A option. The dash M specifies the hash type that you're going to crack, and the dash A is actually the attack mode as we will see later on. So to know what hash types and attack modes we can use, let's scroll down until we find these lists. So this is the list of the hash modes. As you can see, if we want to crack an MD5 hash, then we will use hash mode zero. If we wanna crack a SHA-1 hash, then we will use hash mode 100. If you have a salted hash, something like an MD5 hash with a salt, where the hash password comes first and then the salt comes next, then you use hash mode 10. If you have a salted password where the salt comes first and then the password comes next, then you use hash mode 20. So whenever you're trying to crack any type of password, you need to consult this table to know what is the correct hash mode that you need to use in your process. Now let's scroll more down until we reach the attack modes. And here are the attack modes. We can see that the attack mode number zero means that it's a straight mode. What it really means is that this is a dictionary attack. I created a directory which I called hashcat and stored three files in it. So let's get into that directory and see what's in it. I have these three files, the rockyou75.txt, which is the dictionary which we'll use to crack the hashes, and an md5 hash text file, and an sha1 hash text file. Each one of these has the corresponding hash in it. So if we look into the md5 hash, then you will see it has only one MD5 hash. The SHA-1 hash has a SHA-1 hash in it. And the ROCKU file has a list of the passwords that we're going to try to use in order to crack these hashes. So as you have seen on the Hashcat website, to start cracking, we have to type Hashcat, and then we need to specify what type of hash do we have? In that case, we're going to start with the MD5 one. So we'll specify that it's a uh, bash M zero. And the attack mode here is going to be zero because we're doing a dictionary attack. And then we give the command, the file that has the hash in it, and then the file that has the dictionary in it. And we press enter and see what happens. Oops, something wrong happened here. So we get this error that says that a problem happened. Uh, it's not necessarily something wrong with the command that we're using. But Hashcat gives us some recommendation here. And it says, if you want to switch to optimized backend kernels, append a dash capital O to your command line. So let's try to append that to our command and see what happens. So we'll now press the up button to retrieve the previous command and add a dash capital O to it and press enter. 
and Hashcat is going to take some time to try to crack the password here. And once it's done, it will show you the status of the job that it's been working on. So as you can see here, it says that the status of this process is cracked and it displays to you the hash type and the hash itself. In order to see the cracked password, then we have to scroll a little bit up to find out that this MD5 hash corresponds to this password over here, which is password. To crack the SHA-1 hash, we will type hash cat dash M100 for the SHA-1 and then dash A0 for a straight dictionary attack. And then we'll type the name for the file that has the SHA-1 hash and the name for the dictionary. And don't forget to type dash capital O before you press enter. And you will see that Hashcat again will take some time to crack the password. But once it's done, as you can see here, it shows us that the status is cracked. It was a SHA-1 hash. And to find out the uh, cracked password, we'll have to go a little bit up and you will see the hash and the corresponding password, which is password123.